and I look like I got five kids. I look like Sheila going up the mountain. So like I manually be having to pull the lens out and the zoom don't work. Is the zoom working now? This is me trying to use the zoom. It's not working because I broke. Well, it fell on the lens so much that the lens, girl. So look, y'all, that sucks. Both of my Sony cameras are like. Mm. Anyway, we didn't come here for that. So today is a work day. Um, I just left the gym. Y'all, I did 125 on my bench press today with no spotter big snow um i'm finna do a wig review i needed to go to target i felt like having target tell me what i wanted to buy today but we'll see but i do need some more like maintenance stuff um i need to check in on some clients and do some work with that oh yeah so my god is almost finished um i'm gonna tell y'all now in this vlog tomorrow is definitely gonna be finished um i'm gonna actually go out to eat to celebrate it being finished i'm gonna have like a solo day at this place called amalfi pizza because i told y'all about um i went there on a date but i didn't get the pizza and the lady was like baby what you doing you supposed to come in and get the pizza so we're gonna do that tomorrow as i sit there and make the finishing touches on the guys but by the time y'all see this video the guys will be done so i'm gonna celebrate that so we just gonna get some work done pretty much i need to do some content for uh savage fenty I have some fit jeans. I don't know if I want to do that content today. But definitely doing some work today. Um, one of y'all told me, um, y'all didn't tell me what you told me. So y'all know we have like a dilemma with the hair. I'm getting, my hair appointment is the third, so that's next week. Of course y'all going, but um, yeah. So one of y'all was like, you know, you should just wear a hat and keep your hair wrapped up under it. Cause I do know that if you keep your hair wrapped and then let it dry, it pretty much would be okay. And it's crazy because do y'all remember like when I had my locks, I wore hats every day cause my hair looked a mess cause the roots would puff up. Same shit, different day, right? So anyway, I don't know why now I act like I don't want to wear no hat when I was wearing hats every day, whatever. I wore a hat today. And usually when I've been wearing hats, my hair would already have looked a mess. But I made sure that when I put this hat on today, that my hair was already like pretty, you know, she was all right. So, let's see. Okay. All right. So, take it off the hat. The hair pretty much is intact. Now, you is giving hat hair a little bit, but it's pretty much intact. Of course. The worst part is right right where the hat wasn't it, like the size that was sticking out. But we could work with this in the sense that we about to work with it. I'm about to dry style it and wrap it up while I'm in the shower. I mean, I'm about to put a wig on, but I don't think I want to take my savage pictures with a wig. Y'all, I know I be getting these wigs and I do like the wigs, but I like my hair better than the wigs. In the last savage um Fenty content I shot, I wore the curly wig, which was okay. Actually, the curly wig is my least favorite. Yeah, it was okay. But I, baby, I like my hair. I like looking, this is my look. Like, I, it's not that I have anything against wigs. I'll put it on every once in a while, but I'm more, I just like my look. I like this look. So let me style it dry. All I'm gonna do, and I shouldn't be doing this. I'm not using my good, um, guys. So move so why can I never say it right? Not using my good most depth to be playing. So I'm gonna use 
the big pop of defining gel. I don't like this. Well, I bought this when my hair was curly, the blonde curls, and it was cool for that. But for this, for straight hair, relaxed hair, no, because it's a defining gel. And it literally said for all curl types. I really don't want to use it. Why don't I have some Eco Styler? I know what I do have. This, I hope my best friend ain't watching, but I know she is. <laughs> I'm finna use this Aussie Miracle Curls Moves. This is Aussie I Say Curls. I bought this for that curly wig. I just don't want to use my good stuff. See, it gives your curls definition. Forget it. I'll just use the most deaf. I'm not using my good. I'm not using the most deaf. <laughs> I'm using the big popper. Because I don't want to use my good stuff to be playing. And then I'm going to put my do-rag on and let her, um, actually, no, I'll put my wrap on with this and let it, like, dry while I'm taking a shower, put my makeup on and all that to get ready to shoot the content. Yo. Um, after I got the shower, I'm going to do my skincare. Am I? No. So one of y'all want to see my skincare routine with links, of course, but why would I do that when I know I'm going to have makeup on and it'll be a better skincare and more thorough? to do it at night so y'all can see me getting the makeup off yo okay i have my makeup done so it's time to pick what savage expensive piece i want to wear um i only came here so y'all how my hair turned out when i unwrapped it she looked good i love my pixie why, why i'm talking about cutting it i lied because i know it look crazy in the gym but i mean when it's time to step out the gym though what we doing Anyway, um, I came because somebody asked me about my lip combo I wore in the last vlog. It would be the same, but I know this one is looking real pinkish purple. And that's because I outlined my lip with this dark purple pencil and I'm regretting it. I think I'm about to wipe it off. I am. I was too lazy to go get the brown pencil. That's just what it was. But now that I'm looking at it, I don't want this. If you would just stop being so trifling and do stuff right the first time. So I went in with this dark plum purple um liner that i don't know why i still have because i don't wear them it's old um and then i went in with this i'm gonna have all this link right so this is the sephora uh rogue velvet um supposed to be non-transferable cream stain in the number 66 which is called skin deep and then i go over it with the um fenty gloss and glass slipper the fenty gloss is what make you look that real real milky but let me show you because i can show you better and i can tell you okay hold on if i don't mess up I feel like I'm gonna mess up. Um, it's kind of cute, actually, without the gloss. Uh uh. Why did I put this damn purple lip gloss? I mean, pencil on, knowing damn well. Uh, you know, last time you wore that, exactly. You know, you was a brown lip pencil girl. And now my lips kind of pink. Okay, what y'all think? They still pinky, right? Okay. So, I be using the Sephora um, molasses, but any brown pencil to do. The reason I'm uh, like, what's the word I'm looking for? I cannot find my words these days. The reason I'm so loyal to this is because I don't like to sharpen my pencils. Y'all know I'm lazy, so give me an auto pencil, please. Okay, and I just like my lips, and then I go in with the Sephora cream stain. Baby, you need a, just a little bit. Swipe. <laughs> That's it. It's, it's real potent. And this is one of those things you really have to blend it. You're going to have to go back in with the lip pencil. You cannot wear this color in no shape, form, or fashion without a lip pencil. Don't try it. Give me some more. This definitely gives that ashy lip. Damn it, I feel like I put too much on. So when it's spread all out like that, you're just going to go back in with your pencil in. Which is fine because this is the thing. So y'all can see... Like, I have the lip pencil on, and this looks a mess. I know. But it's gloss, though. 
I'm not gonna say you can use any clear gloss because I don't know because I got hella glosses. None of them are really clear. This is my favorite clear, clear gloss. Again, it's the Fenty Beauty, okay, in glass slipper. It's kind of like MAC lip glass, but I don't think it's that thick, but she thick. Y'all see that? You cannot wear this without a gloss. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna link all that below. Let's pick our Fenty. Not our, it is Fenty. That's been our Fenty beauty. Let's pick our Fenty Savage outfit. I did not make my bed today, so anyway, and also it's an overcast day, so it's kind of dark in here. The last time I showed y'all this, they sent me duplicates. Y'all probably don't remember. So anyway, we have this pink number. This is really cute, but I kind of think I know what I'm gonna do. So this is the pink panties and bra. We have this plum with the matching panties. Then did I get because they had messed me up. So like they sent this, I really okay. So they sent this black floral panty, but no black bra. But then they sent two of these. Yeah, so this is like, it's the same thing, but one is black and one is white. I don't want to do that. But then I have the panties to it. So I could do this, but I did the blue floral last time. So I think I'm going to do like this, like lounge cotton type. And they sent two of those too, which I ain't found nobody to give it to. I need to text my cousins or something like, because I don't, nobody wears my size. Um, So I think I'm going to, yeah, go ahead with this little cute, cozy, you know. Okay, y'all, I got my pictures. I don't walk in here. And y'all know, like, the bathroom light is, like, orange. I don't want to put no wig on. I try to do a Tony Braxton thing, because baby, that's the box. <laughs> y'all. Girl, turn back. I don't want to put no wig on. Wig for what? Wig for who? Do y'all see this? Y'all know I get excited because every time y'all see me and I be a mess. So when I look like this, I be like, what's up? I don't even remember what this wig looks like. It's from Wiggins hair. I cannot remember the style of it. <sighs> every time I do a wig video, I have to... This is the only thing. I love wig videos because they're easy and quick. I hate the setup. I got to get my ring light, ring it in here, set up tripods. <laughs> Just for a video that's eight minutes long, cause all we y'all know, I all I do is glueless. We gonna slap it on. I don't know about snatching it off. We might actually have to wear it, cause I'm gonna mess my hair up. <sighs> y'all look at this bathroom. See what I mean? Look at this. It's hair, flat irons. Uh uh. I have to clean my bathroom, but y'all, why well, I take this band off? We about to go though. <sighs> So for real though, what look better, the wig or the short hair? Stop playing. I mean, the wig is, but I'm saying though, for real, comments, wig, Tony Braxton haircut, what's up? <laughs> okay, y'all, so yes, cause I took the band off. Anyway, I'm about to go to Target, but I also made this, an executive decision that I'm about to go get me something to eat. It's almost six o'clock. All I had was them two little tacos. Them two tortilla shells alone was only 60 calories. I'm hungry, okay? Those were the low-carb tortilla shells. I need food. I benched today. Um, I'm like, do I want a fish sandwich from McDonald's or do I want Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A is always the answer. Yep, I'm going to Chick-fil-A. I am. I, I'm the one. I'm the one that still got to go home and edit, check on my clients, and clean. I deserve, I deserve. I remember telling my best friend I wanted a curly wig and I lied. I'm so glad I didn't have to buy one with my own money because I really don't like curly hair. Like I thought I would, I don't. Oh uh, no, I don't. And the wig I had before this was like a tighter curl. I don't like this. I look like somebody mama going to church. I thought I liked it at first. I mean, it's okay. I feel like First of all, I'm sorry. I like to be bald, period, because I feel like hair ages me, and I look old with hair. But if we gonna have some, I would like a little bob. I would like, I, I like the long, like that's one wig I got. I don't know why I ain't wore it for real. It's my favorite. It's the straight, like basically like a little bust down. It's straight and it, it's straight and it has like a straight part down the middle. This curly hair is a lot. 
like this again this one better than that real tight curl but i really just do not care for um tight curls I'm not i don't care for curls on me a wave yeah so like that um i want to say halara that hair vb wig that my mama i traded with her and it's like wavy she she gucci she good i can i can mess with her a wave yeah this is supposed to be like a loose wave but this is a curl and i look like i got five kids i look like sheila going up the mountain did she have her <gasps> Did Sheila have a curly wigs? I feel like Sheila going up the mountain. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all, I just passed Popeyes and I was really thinking like, you sure you want Chick-fil-A? I had the Popeyes fish sandwich once, but for whatever reason, I feel like I want to try it again. I don't know if y'all know this, but Popeyes lemonade, they strawberry lemonade, no, it, nobody can compare. And I'm like, damn. Damn, I really want, but see, you know what's crazy? If I would've went to Popeyes, I would've really fought and wrestled with myself if I wanted a chicken sandwich or a fish sandwich, cause I don't know. I do not like this wig. <laughs> I thought I did and I'm just looking like, bro, I look like Sheila, I'm gonna go. Y'all serves me right, serves me right. I can't make this up. So I knew I wanted to go to the Target in Sandy Springs because I wanted to see if they possibly had my protein shake, right? And I just get tired of going to the same Target because I don't get to see nothing new. So I was like, well, let me drive out to the Chick-fil-A by the Target. Why the Chick-fil-A out here is gone? It's, I'm looking at the plot where it was. They bulldozed it. So I guess I should have went to Popeyes. I done drove all the way... I'm looking where the Chick-fil-A is supposed to be, y'all. Y'all want to see it? Look at it. Look at it. Y'all remember that SpongeBob episode? Look at it. I am so pissed. Oh, I'm so mad. And it's a Sonic right here. No. So I can, since I'm already by the Target, is just run in there and then run out and go to the Popeyes on the way home. What's the closest Chick-fil-A? Because, see, I don't have this to do. Oh, my God. Why did this happen to me? Why? Why is the Chick-fil-A gone? Why? <laughs> oh my God. I am so mad. Girl, I got to go home and edit. Let me see. It's one two miles away. Further. Two miles away. Oh, it's one. It looked like I passed one. It's on the same street. Three. Hold on. Where is this one at? But I got to Okay, so I'm just going to have to go to Target because we already out here. I wanted to eat first. Boo. I'm going to have to just go ahead and run to Target and then get Chick-fil-A when I leave. Unless I change my mind split second because I'm a Gemini because I have to pass that Popeye's to go home. And this is why I don't wear wigs because is it just me or is that lace cap showing? And I'm getting irritated because, like, why is that lace cap showing? See, when you got when you wearing a wig, you got too much clocking. Okay, you wear about the lace lifting showing you worry about the lace cap then don't have the lace all the way down here get the lifting baby now y'all i went to target and i call myself going out of my way to go to a target like i told y'all that i never been to to see what they had to see and didn't get nothing i left with some vaseline cocoa oil i'll show y'all but i'm pulling up at chick-fil-a chick-fil-a hi Amelia. How many today? Um, can I have a number one uh, with Kobe Jack cheese and extra pickles um, with a... Do you still have like a little mango lemonade? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, just a regular one or one of half tea, half lemonade? The regular one. Regular one. Any sauces for you? Chick-fil-A sauce, please. No, that's it. That was gonna be 10:40. You are all set. We'll see you through it. Thank you. I can't wait till I think it's April 8th when they're gonna get like the cherry berry drinks. Y'all, how about? I feel like my camera zoomed in. I cannot zoom it out if it is, but I don't think it is. Um, when I was at Target, I seen, what's his name? Little Meech, Young Meech. The boy off BMF, Young Meech, Little Meech. And I looked, and I, he looked at me, and I kept on. I guess he was thinking I was going to say something, because, you know, celebrities swear up and down. When you see them, you're supposed to just be like, oh, my God, is it? Boy, no, uh-uh. If it ain't Kanye or Kevin, I ain't checking for you. I seen it, and I realized who it was, and I just kept pushing, like, okay 
I've seen Lil Uzi and did the same thing, so don't be like, well, you know, he kind of like a lower list celebrity because I feel like Lil Uzi is A list. Is he not? I love Lil Uzi. Like, I listen to Lil Uzi all the time, but I just seen him and was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'ma just see you and be like, oh, that's so and so and keep it moving. I said this and I know y'all probably won't believe me, but I don't care if you do or not, because I ain't got no reason to lie. <laughs> I can literally like see Beyonce and I'ma just be like, oh, damn, that's what Beyonce. Only because I'm not a huge Beyonce fan. Like, I'ma just be like, damn, I seen Beyonce. But like I said, that time I seen Kevin though, girl, lost her mind. About to fall out in them people mouth. Y'all want to see the oil that I got? It ain't nothing spectacular. I was looking for that Johnson Johnson that my daddy used to buy. Y'all know it was a Johnson Johnson baby oil, but it was like gel. I cannot find that for the life of me. But I got the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant. Because y'all remember when I took that bath and I was like, oh, I wish I had some oil. Yeah, I be wanting some oil. And that smell good because it smell like, um... Cocoa butter. Where is my hand sanitizer? Y'all know I'm about to eat into this for eating too. Yeah. Bite into this fry and be like, oh Lord. Chick-fil-A. And I remember to get my extra pickles today. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -mm. Y'all, every time I just have to wonder and question why. Why is it so good? I passed the Popeyes again and came here, but I slick do want to try that fish sandwich again. Let me know if y'all had the Popeyes fish sandwich and what you thought about it. Because it was good, but it was like, I think they made mine wrong. I think they left the tartar sauce off. Mmm. And tell me what tastes better than Chick-fil-A sauce. To this day, is my favorite condiment. I can't believe I gotta go home and edit. This is ghetto. I could edit the wig video tomorrow. I really could, because it only take, no, that's why I need to do it today. It does not take, y'all, it don't even take, it might take 30 minutes, if that. It really don't take long. Oh, look at these pickles. Yes, I love when I tell them extra pickles and they give it to me. They slap them. Y'all see? I, <laughs> I love when I be, they really be like, oh, you want extra pickles? We gonna show you this chicken. They, they put me a fat chicken breast on here. Oh my God. That is crunchy. It's falling apart. Oh my God. My weave is attacking me. Oh, how do y'all do hair? Get this. Jesus, this is a good one. It's like super crispy. It don't make no sense how I'm eating this chicken sandwich on this camera. I'm about to go. <sighs> Y'all, I guess it serves me right. That dog on Chick-fil-A gave me gas. And it's like under my ribs. <laughs> my stomach is better now, but I was bloated and been in here burping and it hurts. So I'm about to lay down. But I promise y'all, I will show y'all um, my, my skincare routine. Um, also, this is amazing. And I know it's old. But yeah, I really like this. It smells so good. And it's just like really moisturizing. Yeah, it's amazing. So I'm supposed to have my skin fix soap when I have makeup on. It's an oil cleanser, but I'm out. So I'm using my Dermalogica Glycol Daily, Daily Glycolic <laughs> Cleanser. Uh, excuse me. See? And it feels so good. The bird feels good. Oh, see, I forgot. So, when I'm exfoliating, I try to do it more than I used to. I, I, I just got makeup all over. But I also use the Dermalogica Daily Exfoliant. And I kind of like put it in my hand while the soap is in there. Because you're supposed to mix it with water. And I just scrub, go to town, go to work. 
And then this um, exfoliant is gentle enough for everyday use. I don't use it every day. I try to use it at least two to three times a week, if I remember. I'm just trying to keep it like all the way 100 with y'all. If you can use it every day and you remember, good girl. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> I don't think I would want to use it every day, even if I did like want to and remember and all of that. Cause even when I'm Pomac lost her down her hand in stone, she was such a good esthetician. But um, she even said like, you know, you try to use it like every few days. So pretty much what I try to do every two to three days. Now, again, try, cause I definitely fall short. Girl, you know, I'm lazy. I just really want to warm. I just wanted to be over. By the end of the night, I just wanted to be over. Kind of like now, like I'm just, I just want to get in my bed. I wish I had some ginger ale. I start thinking, no, you don't have none. Oh my God. Because these birds, they stay loud and big, but they feel good. I'm trying to think if I'm going to put some makeup on tomorrow to go get some more Morphe. Oh, I kind of want to be cute. I was cute today, but I had no, he wasn't looking like she was. Yo, oh. And so, after all of that, if it was the morning time, first of all, I wouldn't exfoliate, I exfoliate at night. But if it was the morning time, I would go in with my vitamin C hyaluronic acid. And then I would go in with uh, the snail mucin essence and then sunscreen. But at night, I do my Fenty Skin Fat Water, which is a toner, like a moisturizing toner. I want y'all to see that I've been using product. I love empties because that means I use it. And then this is the Skin Fix Collagen Activating Serum. I love the Skin Fix line. Like I just said, I need, oh, I'm running out of this. Damn it. I need um, some more of my Skin Fix Cleansing Foam. Especially, it is so good. Especially, um, what was I about to say? When you have makeup on because it's oil based so i really love it for that and i need to re-up y'all look at the little lashes trying to hang on every time my lashes like fall out and i don't have lashes like my makeup today i absolutely loved it and i was like yes no more lashes then i end up getting lashes but i really like the way my eyes look without lashes like then y'all i was looking at some old like instagram videos of me when i used to get my lashes super long and i was like how sway because that shit look a mess to me now that's crazy because this was literally last year it was not that long ago and i'm good with the lashes that she be doing now but honestly i, I don't want no lashes i'm good without lashes um and then here's the skin fix barrier like moisturizing cream and i like how you push it in and pump it out but I, as y'all can see i really love the skin fix line Pretty much all the stuff I use on my face, whether it's like the morning or the night, is Skin Fix or Dermalogica. Those are my top, like, things, face burns. Um, I love the snail mucin because it's really moisturizing. So, like, I use that in the daytime instead of my Skin Fix moisturizer. I use the snail mucin and then sunscreen. But at night, you know, we keep her moisturized. Okay, y'all see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. We got some new just meats. Um, I saw two of these downstairs in the refrigerator, which let me know one of my neighbors is up on game. We also got something from EHP, and I already know what it is. It's the new uh, Ghost, Bu Ghost Buster flavors, I'm sure. And I knew it was coming. I don't know how long it's been down there because I knew I was getting a Just Meats package. So I was like, well, I'm just going to wait to go down there in one full swoop. So let's see what we got. Today's one of those days I wish I had iced coffee in my refrigerator. 
<sighs> the only reason I don't buy iced coffee though is because y'all, I'm not a coffee drinker. I had to learn when I started branching out and trying new things and nobody could get it right but Starbucks. It's because I don't like coffee for real. I like sugar. So when I have iced coffee at home, it's iced cream. And I don't need to be drinking all that. But I sure wish I had one today because I want one. All right, so we got two new Oxy Shred flavors. Oh, we got Frosty Big Apple. Damn, I wish I was going to the gym today. It's my rest day. I usually go and walk, but I'm really about to rest. Like, y'all, I slept 12 hours last night. It was it was great. I'm just getting up, and it's like almost 12 o'clock. So we got Frosty Big Apple. I wonder what that tastes like. And Ecto Freeze. Hmm. Right? So... I already know what I have in here. Where is those scissors I just had? Did I put them up? Oh, look at me putting stuff up the first time. I already know what I have because you know they send an email with, um, y'all know. Tell you what you got. So, it's not like it's a surprise. I'm just excited to have more meat. I ate the teriyaki, no, Hawaiian beef. I still have some and it was really good. All of them are good. I've not had one. How many have I had? I've had at least four. I've had the Hawaiian beef, garlic herb chicken, some other chicken that was breast, and a pork. Yeah, four. None of them have not been good. They all been really good. I don't even think one's been better than the other. Oh, I will say that so far, I can't hold you. The garlic herb chicken wasn't my favorite. It, it was okay, but that's only because it's chicken breast. And I told y'all I'm really a fan of chicken breast. When we first had the first one, it was chicken, and it was so good. And I was like, oh, it was like the polo asada chicken. Yeah. I was like, this can't be breast. It's juicy. And it wasn't. It was that. I'm just not a fan of chicken breast in general. So that one nobody saw. I hope this ice. I'll be forgetting if you dry. I'll be just going in here barehanded. Hawaiian shredded pork. Carne asada tacos. That's what I hear. <laughs> Hawaiian chicken teriyaki. Oh, this time it looks like they put the the marinade's in there with the food instead of how they had it separate. I don't know, that one has a marinade in it, but then I see um, the marinades. I don't know why that one has it in there. Jamaican rub steak. That sounds so good. Ranch chicken breast. Now she said this one was a favorite. And I don't know, cause see it's chicken breast. She said it's hard to get a hold of that one. It better be good because I'm not. The garlic herb chicken wasn't bad. It's just chicken breast is typically dry to me. And the smoked Texas briskets. Is that all of them? Yep. Now I have to dispose of all of these boxes. I have six more meats. How many do I have in the... um? I don't want to freeze these marinades with the meat because they haven't been frozen. Will I ever eat seafood again? <laughs> By seafood, I mean salmon. Because, yeah, we got beef, pork, and chicken down pat. I wonder why this meat, why they don't have any seafood options. All right, so let me put all these in the freezer because what I eat for lunch, I told y'all I was going to the Amalfi Pizza place. Whatever I eat for lunch, I'm sure I have leftovers for dinner. Then tomorrow, I actually have to make dinner. But it won't be none of this. Y'all, I won't be vlogging. I'm not vlogging again until this weekend. I'm tired, and it's the end of the month. Um, so I won't be eating nothing, none of this till like Friday. And then me and my dad and my brother, are going to dinner for Easter on Saturday. And then Sunday is Easter. I'm going to be eating dinner with my mom. So we're going to be taking a break from the Just Meats for just a little bit. Okay, y'all. 
work outfit of the day. This is a set I bought from Target. It's looking like the greens don't match, but I, I'm pretty sure I bought this as a set, and now I'm not so sure. Oh, I'm not so sure, but I could have sworn because I have a pink one too. So anyway, it's a little activewear set in my um, tote bag with my iPad in it and the keyboard. I'm ready. <laughs> it sucks like it's like perfect Jeep weather and it's piling everywhere. I wouldn't dare take the top off this Jeep because I just got to the point where I'm waking up in the morning and I'm not itching and my eyes are still a little itchy, but like my mouth and my throat. And my nose ain't running profusely. Profusely. Did I use that right? So I'm not trying to disrupt it. It's probably all outside. And baby, this is the day they had the top down. Um, The last time, y'all, I turned my air on. And it was blowing out cold. I think it's doing it again. Which makes me believe that ain't good. Or, no. I think my air does need to be recharged. Because I have it on the lowest setting. And it will blow out cold. But if I raise it so like low. But if I put it like on 65 which is still pretty cold it'd be hot which would exactly mean that the air need to be recharged because it has to be on the lowest setting for it to perform i don't know y'all it's on 65 and it's blowing this happened last year so i don't know wait uh-uh 65 a little warm okay the air need to be recharged it only work on the lowest setting and then that mean eventually it's not gonna work at all i think yeah 65 is warm Oh, that's crazy. 65 feel like 74. Because I remember when I used to keep my air on 69, it was perfect, perfectly fine. Yeah, 65 is warm. So it got to be on low. I'm going to do 60. Because after 60 is low. Okay, even 60 is okay. All right, it need to be recharged. Okay, so now we know for a fact. And I guess we need an auxiliary battery too. And um, I need to see where we're going. Because the one that I went to was downtown. But it's one closer to my house. Like literally a mile away. And that's the one we're going to go to. But I don't know where it is. I've never seen it. Am I in the way? Probably. Am I going to move? No. It's literally. Lord, you could have got your ass by now. Damn. You could have got by. You did not need me to move. Y'all, I be having an attitude. Like, and I was in the wrong. It's literally one mile, which is eight minutes. Where, though? Because I ain't never seen it. For it to be a mile. Kingsboro, Lenox, Peachtree Road. Lord, you told me it was going to be parking there. <laughs> when I went to the... Uh, on 60 a little... Hold on, maybe because I was sitting there. Let me drive. Oh, no 60 starting to heat up, y'all. When I went to the run that was downtown, y'all told me it was parking at this one. But how is parking if it's on Peachtree Road? Why are you telling me to go this way? I'm just gonna go the way you're telling me to go. Y'all, okay, it was on 60 and it started to warm up, so now I got it on low and it's cold again. I'm just trying to make sure, and I'm pretty sure it's not my compressor because that's a big deal. It got to be the air, because okay, I put it on low and it's cold. I don't even need the air on right now. I just want to see, make sure that it does need to be recharged. And this is one of the things, like, if it's only really performing when it's at the lowest setting, meaning I need some more fluid, I guess. I don't know. But it needs to be recharged. It ain't nothing else. Um, Our little Vaseline, cocoa brown sugar, whatever she is, we reserving her for nighttime. First, I have oil stains on my shirt. Y'all know I'm infamous for that. If y'all remember, last year we went through this. And I'm greasy, like I'm sliding, put my arm on the damn headrest or the armrest or whatever, the little glove, the glove could probably, whatever the thing right here is, y'all know what I'm talking about, right here, where your arm go. I'm sliding, then all over here on the doggone door handle here, I'm sliding, cause my damn arm's greasy and I don't wanna put them on my pants, cause I'm probably gonna get oil stains. First world problems, for real. Okay, the air is still cold, y'all. She now you telling me to turn around. I knew you was lying. Y'all, I'm not about to do this with this phone. Didn't I just ask and say, why you tell me to go this way? You told me to turn right here. Now you want me to bust a damn U-turn. Why would you do this to me? Why? Because now I got to sit here and wait. And when I didn't even have to go this way, I can't put the phone down because I got to look at it. And I'm also not trying to rest my arms. I'm struggling today. 
yo my eyes oh my god i have like y'all see that i don't know if y'all can see that that's for me rubbing my eyes and they're itching and i'm like scratching myself so now i got like this little i don't think y'all can see it I gotta stop with the rubbing of the eyes, but they be itching so damn bad. My face, I feel like, just looks swollen like I feel like in the last vlog, and y'all didn't say nothing. But I feel like it's swollen. <sighs> We're not finna pick ourselves apart today. You better be thankful and glad the air damn working. That, not that I need it today, but I guess I do, because it is a little warm outside, and I don't want to have the window down, because I don't want the pollen to fly. Oh, and to update y'all on the little oh should you contact your ex thing listen this mf was in my dms this morning time you can see the lace on my wig yesterday so guess what he also gonna see if i need an auxiliary battery and where i need to go and how much it should cost me he can see all that since he can see that damn lace on my wig yo big protein 150 grams of protein. Y'all uh, gotta stop playing, bro. I swear, um, bro. He gon' fuck up the world. Excuse me, but is that your girl? If she tell, that's a good referral. He be G be talk crazy to me, but Kendrick know I like the regular girls. I'm not good with the regular girls. Damn, they want a veteran girl. I just might change your life. We ain't wearing no Giuseppe jeans. We ain't doing none of normal things. Do you know what formal means? Critics saying that I lost the plot. Principles, yeah, I'd rather not. Messi about to come in hot. Dot. Y'all, I done messed up, I done messed up, I done messed up. So look, I went into that place and I wasn't going to get nothing to drink because y'all know I'm not even supposed to be drinking like that. I'm a social drinker. There was nobody to be social with. Okay. But the last time I went on that date, I remember that Frosé was really good. So I was like, it's like a Frozen. Frozen. I don't know. I don't know. It was Frozen. I'm a sucker for a Frozen drink. So I asked her, could I get it like mocktail version with no liquor? And she was like, no, it's already pre-made, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll take it anyway. Oh my God, y'all. Y'all seen what the glass looked like. It wasn't even full. Why is it that strong? Like y'all, I was over here on my little iPad trying to type. I was typing slow. I was mistyping. Like I'm not drunk at all, but I feel the liquor. So much so that I ordered some damn tiramisu with it, pistachio gelato on it. What is you doing? Uh, I was not supposed to go do that. I was supposed to go get that pizza, get that salad, do some work, and go ahead. Now, I did do some work. I'm pretty much good. I just need to upload, like, the videos and link it to the, the guide, and I'm good. But, yeah, I wasn't supposed to go do what I did. And now I'm like, like I said, I'm not drunk, but I can feel the liquor. And I just want to get home. Like, I want to be home and I just want to lay down for a minute. Because, yeah, I, I don't. I was just, like, at the restaurant, like, as I was talking to them, I felt like, you know how you just feel like you look silly or, like, you you doing the most or you, you out of your body? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not drunk, but I know that I'm also not sober. And so I'm like, oh, like, I was talking and I just felt like, like, they could tell, like, oh, that drink got you, baby. It got you. And I just want to go home. And why is the light? The light is not turning green. Why are you not? Why are you not? Y'all, please don't let this school bus get in front of us and start letting kids out. Go. 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 I hate school buses. I think I told y'all that. I don't give a damn about y'all kids. You shouldn't have had them. Why did I say that? See? Oh, my God. It's too much. It is traffic like hell right now. I don't know what I did. I think I just did wrong. Y'all, oh my God, why is it traffic here at 3.30? I need to get home. Can y'all tell I'm like panicky? I need to get home. I don't need to be out here with all this. It's, it's, it's too much going on. I'm scared to get over. Kids getting off the school bus. I'm asking people why they had kids and I don't care about them. Ooh. I almost just hit a car. Did I or did I think I almost hit it? Y'all. I kind of want to keep y'all alone just for emotional support. Mind you, I'm down the street from my house. I could have walked home if I needed to. I've walked this far before. That's how close I am. Like, I can't see my house, but it, I could walk it. I've walked it before. So, I, 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 I look at me stuttering. I'm not far from home, but I'm far enough where I feel uncomfortable because I know that I'm not in my regular state of mind, I guess. 
but I'm okay. We, we, we're going now. I just need to get home. And as soon as I get home, I'm gonna taste this tiramisu. Cause she gave it to me plated. And I was like, no, I wanna take it with me cause I don't need to eat anything else. But you know when you drinking, kinda like when you smoking, you can't feel your stomach like you usually. Now, when you smoke, I don't know about y'all, but when I have recreationals, I don't feel that stomach at all. There is no stomach. The sky's the limit. But when you drink it, like, why did I even order that? I'm not even a dessert orderer. Like, I don't go look and I'm mad but anyway I ordered dessert and she had it played it for me and it was tiramisu it was so pretty it had chocolate no it's espresso because it's tiramisu it had an espresso drizzle and it had a scoop of pistachio gelato on top and I was like no I need to take this home because I need to go home and she was like okay and she plated it and put it up and she put the gelato like in a separate thing she's like I'm just letting you know if this gelato melts completely and then you try to refreeze it it's not gonna be good and I was like baby don't you worry <laughs> I'm going straight home you ain't got to worry about none of that none of it but as soon as I get there y'all we're gonna have some of it so I can let y'all know this is for research purposes yeah just tell yourself whatever you got to yourself girl okay y'all when I tell y'all I'm about to lay down here's our little gelato and our tiramisu now, I don't, again, don't know why I bought this. I do like tiramisu, but it's not end all be all for me. The end all be all for me is Tres Leches. So let's taste this pistachio gelato. Very good. Mmm. Y'all, I'm not even a sweets person like that. Like, I like sweets, but it's the liquor. Now, this is the tiramisu has berries on it. Very good. Here's a blueberry or blackberry. I'm not even going to be eating this right now. I'm going to eat it, but I don't want to eat it now. So, here's some pistachio and tiramisu. Y'all, it's pretty good. And I'm still eating it. I'm not supposed to eat it. Mm -mm. Why does liquor do that to you? Like, it just makes you eat. Mm -mm. Put this up. I gotta go rest. I have to rest. Because why? I had one damn drink. Come on now. Good morning, y'all. We going to the gym. We are gonna hit my favorite, my favorite body part. <laughs> my favorite. Oh my God, I can't think about what to say. Like the favorite part of my body that I like to work out, but there's a better way to say, it. I don't know. Anyway, my favorite muscle group to hit. Boom, my favorite, mus my favorite muscle group to hit. Hamstrings, okay? And it's not necessarily hamstrings, but yeah, because my favorite lift is the deadlift. And I know that's a compound lift, so it's doing a lot. I love deadlifting. Even before I was like conventionally deadlifting, Romanian deadlift all day. And that is definitely a hamstrings and booty move. I know y'all would think I'm like a booty girl. And I do like hip thrusts too. It's not my fault that conventional deadlifts or deadlifts, period, like pretty much any variety, um... Any version of a deadlift, any variation of a deadlift is going to be a butt type of thing. But it's really the hamstrings. I don't know. Actually, it's the hinge movement, I think. I like picking it up, the heavy shit, and putting the heavy shit back down. I think I told you this when I was moving. The mover guy was like, I told him, like, I lifted and stuff. And he was like, okay. And so then, you know, we was getting ready to move the mattress. He said, yeah, can you help me? And so I started helping him move the mattress. And um, I was like, damn, you know, this kind of heavy. He said, I thought you lift. I said, yeah, I picked the heavy shit up. I put the heavy shit down. We don't carry the heavy shit. Anyway. That's not what I came here to talk about, y'all. I need to literally go and look at this post so that I say it right. So, I did, like, this little poll thing on Instagram last night because I seen this post on Threads and I wanted to talk about it, right? So, this girl posted and she said, I'm going to have it on the screen for y'all. I actively resist accepting any labor from men I date. I let them know I'm not interested in cohabitating nor meeting children for at least a year. I'm not cooking for you nor cleaning for you. I'm not doing anything but showing up to be wine-dined and will provide nothing 
nothing but the pleasure of my company. And if we get there, the pleasure of my pleasure. So then she goes on to say, a lot of people swear I have trouble dating this way, but actually it wards off hobo sexuals, uh, whatever, and labor diggers, and I'm loving it. So when she talks about labor diggers, she's talking about like men that actively seek women to do work for them, like even childbearing. And y'all know, the men get y'all to do the biggest labor for them. We're, we're not giving you nothing, but that's another story. Yes, ch I get it. Child labor. What I look like giving you a damn child, risking my body, my health, and all this for a man that can't do, can't even give you commitment, ain't taking care of nothing. But forget all that. That's my personal thing. Um, but basically, like also like the cooking and the cleaning and the take care of the kids in the house and stuff. And like you're not with this. This not this man ain't your husband. I agree, but sis is saying that I get with the we can't cohabitate or meet no kids before a year. I even though I didn't follow that. First of all, I only dated one person with a kid. That was that was a whole my bad type situation, you know. But like that was my first rodeo, so I ain't know no better. But I agree with her. Like, nah, you shouldn't be doing that. I did for some type of way, but that's another story. But I get that. I agree. Like, I'm not gonna just go up and live with no man. You right. Like, I feel like you should be a, a, over a year. But whatever, cool. My where I I agree, but I kind of don't agree is when she's basically saying like the whole time that we're dating, like I'm not doing anything but just showing up and being wine and dine. I'm not doing nothing for you. Did y'all? I just want to know: Am I tripping? Or did y'all get that too? Because I don't know if everybody took it the way that I took it. Because um, when I asked people to like chime in, everybody was agreeing with her. Only one girl was like, you know, you should just focus on um, reciprocating the energy that's given to you. And I totally agree with her. Like, I don't mind. Y'all have seen me cook for men. Like, I don't mind it. I like to do stuff it to show that I like you and also again the reciprocating energy like if you are taking me out and doing stuff and I appreciate it I would like to show my appreciation like so I feel like it's a discretion thing or discernment thing because no every man don't deserve for you to cook for them and do nothing because they're not doing nothing and they be wanting you to audition and show your worth y'all I had a guy not too long ago message me and was like um what did he say he said you look like I can't remember the exact message, but basically, like, um, you look like you know you worth my time or whatever. He didn't say that because that would be w ridiculous. But he was like, you look like you got a lot going for yourself or whatever, blah, 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 pretty much. But looks could be deceiving. And then I was like, okay, like, maybe this is your way to try to start a conversation. I was like, well, I like to think that I'm, you know, worth the effort or whatever, right? And then he went on to say, so what makes you um, worth whatever, blah, blah, blah. So when you are, basically, you are wanting me to convince you of my worth when why are you here because if, if you didn't like you said looks could be deceiving but i mean i'm not finna let me write a damn application and put it in for hire let me give him a five-page essay on why he should be trying to pursue me what the hell i look like so no but then some men that like they do take you out and they do stuff with you and you know y'all have been hanging out and you like them don't you want to reciprocate the energy? Because I don't know about that. I'm not doing nothing but just showing up and being wine and dine. For, and it's all to the pleasure of you. Because she literally went on. Like, I went through her profile because I was like, okay, it's a little intense. So I went through her profile. I mind y'all if y'all want to go. This was back March. Like, I, I was in it. This was, you're going to have to scroll for a while. But she went on basically to say, like, basically for you to be in my presence that's good enough. I don't have to do nothing. You should be happy you in my presence. I, I feel like that's a little OD, y'all. I feel like that's a little OD. I'm not telling you to be uh, trying to prove your worth, like I said to these men, or when they be asking you what you bring to the table. You don't have to tell them shit. I don't bring nothing. Yeah, come with that energy to them. But the people that are like, or the men, well, the people, because you might not like men. <laughs> the people that are like, taking you out and doing courting you and being there for you and you know putting in the effort and the time i feel like you should you should reciprocate that energy besides you just being available for them to take you out and do xyz that's just me y'all y'all know i'm not the most soft girl life because i feel like it's okay for women to pay for stuff i again feel like energy should be reciprocated i feel like when it comes to that, oh, you shouldn't have to do pay for nothing with no man and blah, 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 that, 
also rests along them same lines of like when a man is going through something he not supposed to come to you like i see something on instagram i think it was the gail girl i don't know oprah best friend right was like she was dating this man and he needed some money for something i think it, it, this make it bad so we i'm not gonna tell y'all what it is because that wasn't the point it was something crazy but whatever he needed money for she gave it to him and he said i'm gonna pay you back and he did pay her back and she just held that against him because like why are you coming to me as a man asking me for help i don't like that because why y'all feel like that men are humans just like women are humans and everybody need help and nobody deserves to have to suffer in silence and not be able to ask for nothing and I don't feel like that's even like a money thing but men will sit up here and be going through mental health issues or something's bothering them and they won't want to tell nobody because they get judged for it like oh you supposed to just handle it on your own be a man I don't like that so for me to sit up here and say oh um, uh, I'm not gonna do anything but just show up and I'm not paying for nothing, I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that. I feel like that goes against the same lines of, oh, you are a man, you're supposed to figure it out, you're supposed to do this and do that. And you, I feel like you can't have one without the other. So you can't be like, oh no, um, I'll be there for you emotionally, but don't ask me for shit now. I, I, I don't know. Y'all let me know. But anyway, I'm, I'm about to get my music. I need to get turned. I need to take my oxy shred in before I get to the gym because I am going to the gym a little bit of ways away. So I just sip on my oxy shred as I'm heading that way. So thank y'all for kicking it with me. I holla, baby. Wow, this is a mess. <laughs>